Welcome everyone, we are glad you could join us tonight. I am Robin Kitto and tonight with Dinah we are highly excited to be bringing you the latest from outside the entertainment centre on the first red carpet event held in Roxburgh. This is the Golden Apricot Awards. It certainly is Robin and tonight we're here to recognise the outstanding performances that we have seen from the Roxburgh locals who have really stepped up to the plate and have unleashed the actor within. It was actually the camera lady who was here working tonight got me out of the pub to go and do the shot because she thought they were apricots. And I have to tell her that they were actually nectarines. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we all look absolutely lovely tonight. We were talking about the stunning couture we were going to see on the carpet tonight, Robin, and... And I think we're seeing it. We certainly are. And you're looking Thank gorgeous. Thank you, Dinah. Thank you. Pleasure Congre to be here. Congratulations to you and your staff on the 10-year anniversary of Edge Care. Yeah, it's Fantastic. very good. It's great. Isn't? Most men might be really thinking that was a really good... Um, yeah, no, it's, it's going Good invention. Good. Yeah, it's going real good, this bit. I've done about, oh, probably 10 or a dozen functions now. I've got about another eight or nine booked in, so... If you are successful in winning the award tonight, how will that change your life? <laughs> probably won't, actually. Rod, you must be absolutely thrilled with the signing off of the money for the rail trail. Yes, it's a great uh, opportunity for the valley to move forward. It certainly and, is. And, and lift the economy for everybody. We have the, the scenery and the history yes. uh, in this region, central Otago. Alistair, is Scottish Week all about you? <laughs> I don't think so. I just happen to be one of the ones in the middle of it. You know, if people want to uh, enjoy themselves in a, in, in a, a Scottish kind of way, then... The haggis that you had the other night, with that we wondered if there was any practice needed of the drinking prior to it would have the been event. Help. It would have been helpful. <laughs> Mr Gordon here was actually a ballerina. Oh, I do remember. <laughs> it's so. true. Uh, the tutu's still in the bottom drawer. <laughs> <laughs> we need people to learn the trade and carry on the tradition of, of fruit growing in this area because it is a special place. You are two hours between going everywhere and it's an ideal spot to take a break. Oh, I had a headache this morning but I don't know if that was to do with the haggis or the drink that went with the haggis. But... I believe the procedure for a haggis is whiskey, piping, whiskey, cut the haggis, whiskey, speech. Whiskey, would it go something that, like that? That's exactly whiskey? right, that's I exactly right. So. I'm wearing a Fur. Dorothy Perkins coat from London. Imported for the occasion? Absolutely, the, the yes, yes. The designer sent it to me to wear. Dad started way back in 1906, and so um, it's, um, well, 104 years now, and, oh, and, yes. uh, and I'm only the second generation. Who are you wearing? Oh, I've completely forgotten. I've borrowed my dress. <laughs> but I'll say it's my Trillis Cooper. Wonderful. That's right. And seen her tonight, and it's <laughs> lovely to have her designs on the red carpet. <laughs> it is indeed. Meeting interesting people, that must be one great Definitely. aspect of Definitely. your job. Mixture, variety every year, it's nice. Meals for mums. Uh, I actually, it's actually not an original idea. No. Trommel does it, and they've done really well with it. Yes. And um, it's just all volunteer run, and it's just seemed a really simple scheme. So that's fine. <laughs> um, it must be lovely seeing so much young singing talent in the valley. They're Jeff. fantastic. It must be a real thrill for you to... And there's so much talent that it's unbelievable. Welcome, Mia, to this evening. Um, you. Here you are between two beautiful women tonight. <laughs> We've had our hair done by um, Holly at Bellissimo. Who did yours tonight? Uh, I can't remember, but it was very short. The dressing up, was that difficult for that era? No, it was great. It was brilliant. Good fun. Yes. I was particularly impressed with the hats. The beautiful hats that were used in that scene. Yeah, very much so. Were, were they your own? No. No, no, they came from a musical society. It's just lovely, the valley. I mean, especially at this time of year, because all the blossoms out. And... Trellises seem to be a hazard for women drivers. Seem oh, when they, they back into when them. When they back into them. Oh. It's great for business. We, yeah, we did. We did wonder if the female part of the society were giving no, you a lot of repair work. That's no, actually no. very serious. I believe that the, the thrill of gold discovery runs deep in your veins. My great-grandfathers made their mint on the Thames Gold Rush and on the Nakamai Gold Rush as storekeepers, not as miners. So you've learned to live off the gold miners rather than as one of them? Absolutely. <laughs> I'm teaching people how to pan gold and they're paying me for the privilege. That explains a lot. Thank you very much for your time and enjoy the show. Good luck.